good morning good day and good evening i hope wherever and whenever this finds you that you are well and that you can feel the love that i'm sending to you i am doing a completely different type of video for me it's been forever since i did a video in the first place and uh i've never done a video to this nature so one of the reasons I'm doing this video is because there is exactly one video that I have found on this. Now, yes, there are a lot of videos on cricket keeping um, that are very good and have served me very well, but there was one that really piqued my interest and where this is coming from. So credit where credit is due. Thank you Aquaramax Pets for doing your video. And it was basically about a year ago on breeding crickets bioactively, which is uh, exactly what I'm going to try to do. So um, I have gone, come a very long way um, in my journey of cricket keeping. So, this is an example of like a small box um, that you see at the pet store. It has the little tubes and um, I've never had the little one with the little tubes, though it does look like um, there's a little bit more surface for them to climb on these than came on the ones that came with this one, which has like no surface and I never ever I maybe found one or two crickets in there. Pretty much not worth much. As you can see, it's dusty because it's been on the shelf. Um, I will use these sometimes and I'll put crickets, not crickets, what the heck am I talking about? Calcium for my fat tail gecko. Um, and then just put it in her enclosure so that way she can get some calcium when she wants to. This one was a package dill with a with some it was actually wood that I wanted there was two really nice pieces of driftwood and a large coconut bark hide and it was a package dill 20 long terrarium this and a few other things so it serves as a good example I'm not really sure what I'm going to use it for but it was very dirty and stinky the traditional smell of crickets um, that I've come to find isn't necessarily necessary. So there's a lot of tutorials, um, good tutorials on cricket keeping on YouTube that does it this way. There is a layer of, of vermicu vermiculite gardening stuff. Um, I did have trouble finding it but I found it on Amazon, I believe, because it was not local or shipping. And I got this big, huge um, bag, maybe like 10 bucks on Amazon, I think. Um, the only thing I've used it for is that, but I'm sure eventually I do do some gardening, so I'll find some use for it. So either way, vermiculite on the bottom. Um, it does have some of these little cups that came with the with the cricket cage. And as you can see, I don't use the sides. I just taped them so that way they can't get out. But there is a couple two of these on the bottom that have the Missouri, I don't know. Um better bug gut load which has all kinds of stuff in it. Um there's another one which that was available at the local pet store but i use this brand of of food for my hamster and this one had more of the protein and the good stuff that i wanted to load my crickets with so that's in there there is organic carrots in there um and that's all i put in there and it does not stink I think it kind of depends on the bugs that I'm getting from the pet store because of the fact that the last batch I got did great. 
I'd have maybe like one or two die and otherwise was good. Well, one or two a day, we'll say, because I do check it every day and clean it every day, give it fresh um, carrots. This one I've had more deaths, it seems, though it does look like, hmm, does look a little bit better. It looks like I might have one dead at the moment. So that's good. And then sometimes I do sprinkle like up on the higher trays some of the gut load. So either way, um, I've been wanting to do this project for a bit. Um, and I had actually started it and I had bought a Sterilite. I believe it was a 58 quart with lid, right? But there's no latching, nothing like that. And I have this cool screen, window screen. Um, that I'm using. This one was very easy to cut out through the plastic just with a um, exacto knife or, you know, one of these thingies. Doomahickeys, right? Oh, girl, it's a doomahickey. So um, I used that and then I used aquarium silicone to secure it. I put it underneath, stuck it down, and then put another layer on top and stuck it down. I don't know. Let's see if we can try this. So it looks fairly decent, right? So I did like that, um, but then I decided to, I live in Florida, so it doesn't matter how clean you keep stuff, you're gonna end up having bugs. So I wanted to make sure none of the pest bugs that occasionally get into the house end up in with my bugs. <laughs> Gotta love it. So I had watched, um, it's Serpa Design. He has a lot of videos on um, isopod bins and he had suggested the gasket seal. Then I was like, the light bulb went off. I was like, okie dokie. So this is a 80 quart Sterilite with the gaskets, right? So when those lids are, and these are really nice, easy to bend um, when it's sealed up it's sealed up which I like so this one is a thicker plastic so the knife was not working so I had I used as you can see here I used a drill and drilled the hole drilled several holes and then um, used a jigsaw to cut it um, this one was my last line and as you see I finally figured it out um, otherwise there's all these gashes and stuff so I for this one I ended up putting it on the inside and I used hot glue so it is not as pretty it I mean and really who cares but um, it, it it didn't work as easy either Surprisingly, the silicone was easier to work with. Of course, I had to let it air out. Um, I will end up doing a, a um, I'm gonna do, Lord have mercy. Thank golly G for pause. I don't know if you could hear my cat at the door crying and screaming. It's driving me nuts. I locked him in my bedroom because he normally he can come down here but when I'm doing this no I don't want bugs all over the place so with this I'm gonna do duct tape around the edges on both sides just to make it look a little bit better um, but either way I have I ordered the full egg crates off of Amazon I think you get like 20 of them for for um, 20 of them for 20 bucks. I think it was like 18 bucks. I've got four of them in there stacked. So that way it gives them lots of surface area. Bring this a little bit closer. So, woo, teeter totter. In here, I put topsoil, clay sand. There's probably about two and a half inches in there. 
So we got the main is the topsoil clay sand. Then I also sprinkled a layer of the horticultural charcoal, a little bit of Echo Earth coconut fiber, two handfuls of moist smag, sphagmum moss, and then a handful of leaf litter just for good measures. So one of the reasons I upgraded, because this one's way bigger than the other one that I had originally planned to do this project with, was that I wanted more room for these and to have more clearance at the top um, when I'm in there checking on them. So that was one, um, and I wanted it deeper. And then, I don't remember what, I think that was the main reason I had. So my plan is, I was at a Repticon event today down in Fort Myers, and I wish I paid for everything in cash so I don't have receipts and I don't know where I got half this junk from. So I have temperate white springtails, right? It's a 12 ounce culture. Um, I'm going to, to put it in this bin, which will, they'll, they will eat the poop, which is good. Now, since there is the dirt, which I'm actually gonna add some more moisture to it, um, the dirt, the crickets will lay their eggs in and then hopefully have little baby crickets. So in the video that Aquarimax did, it was about two months old when he did the video and there was baby crickets in it. So hopefully that will work well. Um, and then I got these guys, they're banded crickets, which they look a lot different. Let's see, here's the banded, right? They look a lot different. These were supposed to be banded, I thought, but these I really think are brown or house crickets. Though they haven't been chirping much this time, but I don't know if you can see. Oh, there's one over there, I think, moving, I thought. But I they don't really look like those. <laughs> so that makes a difference. Um, but yeah, this is my project. We will see how things go, fingers crossed. Um, this is the first time I've done a video of this nature, but you very well may see some more because I do like my stuff like this. Um, I have lots of fish aquariums. I actually have five currently set up. I have two five gallons, two 10 gallons, a three gallon, and a three and a half gallon bowl. Um, I have two 29 gallon tanks that I am setting up. Um, so this month I'm setting one of those up. I also have an um, African fat tail gecko that I am setting up a 40 gallon um, PVC aquarium, uh, terrarium bioactive. So that's what these guys are going to be feeding. So there's a good chance I will do some videos on that. Um, and you know, gives me something to do. <laughs> So I hope that you enjoyed that and this and found some value. Um, I will definitely do an update video in a little while, month or two or so, see where we're going. I anticipate that this is going to work very well. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments, like, subscribe, because there will be more contents of this nature coming. So. As I end my videos on TikTok, <laughs> I'm sending everybody lots of love, big hugs, and blessings abundant. Be blessed and be a blessing. Know that I love you, but don't let me love you more than you love yourself. Till next time.